This clip will show you the new change and issue related parameters available as criteria and schedule fields when creating element and component schedules. With the introduction of revision management, ARCHICAD offers new criteria and schedulable parameters when creating element or component schedules. Let's modify an existing element schedule. Right-click the PW-01 partition wall schedule in the project map and select the Scheme Settings command in the context menu. This will take you to the Scheme Settings dialog and display the details of the selected scheme. In the Criteria panel, walls are selected to be scheduled. Click the Add button. When the new criterion is added, click the button of this new criterion. At the bottom of the list of available criteria, you will see three new criteria. These are Issue of ID of last change, Issue name of last change, and Issue date of last change. They stand for the ID, the name, and date, respectively, of the issue of the last change the given element is linked to. During the lifetime of a project, an element may be linked to more than one change. These criteria consider the details of the issue of the last change the element is linked to. We will not use any of these criteria for now. Instead, choose the interior dash partition layer as a criterion. Also, set additional criteria so only elements with either the first or second floor as their home story are scheduled. Switch to the Fields panel of the dialog to proceed. In the Fields panel, we have three fields selected to be scheduled. Expand the general group of parameters in the left pane. Here you can see the previously mentioned three issue parameters as new available parameters. A fourth new parameter is the Linked Changes parameter. This will list all changes the given element is linked to. Add this parameter to the Schedule Fields pane then also add the Issue ID, Issue Name, and Issue Date parameters in this order to the Schedule Fields pane. Click the OK button to accept the changes. Now double-click the PW-01 partition wall schedule in the project map to generate the schedule. You will see that most elements are not linked to changes, so all four fields will be empty for them. The Linked Changes column contains values for a few elements. However, the three issue fields do not contain values. This is because they contain a value only when a change is issued. This means that the issue the changes belong to needs to be closed. To do this, close the schedule, then right-click the Layout Book at the Layout Book tree and select the Close Current Issue command from the context menu. When you regenerate the schedule, you can see that the three issue-related fields now contain proper values.